it's raining and thunderstorming outside and oh. uh, we're, we're safe in here guys but it is uh, there's a lot going outside and you were stuck in the rain at one stage right yeah that's true <laughs> unfortunately I'm, I'm a little bit wet actually but <laughs> they actually okay. they have collision tech at a time when it's like what like a hurricane season <laughs> so they want to get us in trouble but oh, tell me a little bit about you face because I'm really intrigued um, yeah tell us about how, how you how you sign up and what it does so, um, UFacer, it's a virtual reality account and distribution platform. Mm -hmm. Like today, we're getting a lot of devices coming up to market from, you know, HTC and Google Cardboard or Samsung. There's yeah, a lot of things lot. coming up. And there's like also a lot of uh, content coming, mm -hmm. like games. Most of it are games and 360 videos. Right. But we still don't have a place where we can get all of this content like we don't have a distribution platform no, no. So, so like this is the distribution platform people i've got your site up on my no. phone i love the actual design it's very easy to use i love your yeah, little that's... mascot here can you see that <laughs> that's Super steve cool. steve <laughs> our friend he's gonna be there the whole time to help really? you through the platform oh i love it and you've got him on your top too yeah, here that's true. i love him he's steve so here's the guy so basically Correct me if I'm wrong, but you're kind of creating a marketplace for virtual reality content, right? That's so accurate, people... yeah. Okay, cool. So who are your clients? Are they like studios? Are they advertisers? Are they like, who are they? All of them, maybe like also developers or the even the final client, it can be an end-to-end -end business as well. Can people like express their interest at your Sure, client? sure. You can go to youfacer.com and Fantastic. if you're a developer, you want to distribute your content, you can go there and sign. It's uh, we're gonna have an open API, so you can put your content wow. there. So yeah, That's it's super it's cool. gonna work. I'm I'm really um, how to say yeah excited, yeah, passionate. You know that's something that's going to make it a viable industry right like every industry only survives uh, if you can find the best content connect people yeah, that's certainly it. you're doing that and you're taking make it easy for everyone so yeah, that's I, I wish you all the best it's a really smart smart solution um, I love the name you face up I'm gonna try and pronounce this correctly so bear with me obsequendendo no I said that all wrong okay please correct me it's correct me. okay yeah, thank it's, you it's you a, a, a Spanish word of gifting Gifting, yes. love it. Okay, you know you're speaking my language. Yeah. Tell me more about this. Sure, you know, obsequiando it's a wedding registry okay. uh, where you know couples can manage their invitations and gifts online. Oh, love uh, it. The value proposition about obsequiando is that they can actually get like full cashback from all their gifts. Oh. You know, we, we encounter like this oh, mo the return model. Yeah, you know, you have like <laughs> a lot of couples are living together before they are getting married yeah. or they are going to live outside, you know, their their country. Right. So Obsequiando brings that flexibility, you know. So okay. it's an emotional platform. It's like yeah. it's an e-commerce because your yeah. guests are are giving you things actually. Yes, but in uh, after you know the, the event is done, you can decide if you you can get all the money and use it for your honeymoon or buying a car so or whatever. So that's your point of difference. It's still that emotional connection, enabling people a place where they can register, you know, put their register, people can gift them what they want. Mm -hmm. And then, for whatever reason or factor, if they want to travel or whatever, they can then reimburse them and get. Oh, very exactly. interesting. Exactly. So, is, is this in an app model or is it just. Now a, it's web based. Yeah. And cool. we are currently, you know, in, in Series A investment yes. you know, rows and uh, it, it will happen. Yeah. Uh, of and we will build like a mobile application for the couples. Yeah. Okay. The guess, you know, it's general web, like a regular e commerce. It's okay. really optimized, kind of a Pinterest look alike oh, platform. Oh, very nice. Uh, and if you're a couple, you can also like uh, submit your your gifts you want. Like, Love if, it. if you want to, if you like to art or paint, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you can customize your, your products and your gifts so oh. uh, people can feel that it's a more personal, more you know. More personalized. Excellent. And now, was this your brainchild? Was this your your baby? Yeah, this startup? Yeah, all, all startups yeah. are our baby. Look, uh, it's a great name. Thank you. Who came up with it? How did it come about? Um, I came up with the name. Uh, and how it came about was uh, I have a lot of friends that like to make one or two dollar bets. Yes. And they get very excited. And we're just redirecting that money into a nonprofit that's trying to do some good in the world. Okay. Yeah. So, but you're using real currency though. Real, it's real currency, money. Yeah. It's not like that's some digital currency or anything. It's like right. real stuff. So if Brian and I made a bet, 
right? Uh -huh. We each pick a charity, and yes. the loser makes a tax-deductible donation to the winner's charity. Fantastic. I love it. How Thank long you. have you guys been around? Uh, we've been in business for two years, but okay. we spent pretty much the first part of the first half of the business trying to stay out of jail and uh, <laughs> making no. sure it's, yeah we're not gambling and it's legal yeah making yes. sure it's legal and tax deductible so yeah. we have a, one of our founding principles is uh, stay out of prison yeah <laughs> absolutely hey you know if you can that's always the goal i'm holding this because you were nice enough tony to bring me a little gift i'm gonna put it on my lap i'm gonna open up and okay. see what's inside sure. here whoa what oh wow look i don't know if you guys can see this can i hold it up sure. will it fall out yeah how amazing. What's really most important about our brand is focusing yes. on raising money and awareness for the impact nonprofits. Yes. And so each one of these stickers represents one of our charity oh, partners. Oh, I love it. So we're really focused on some Fantastic. very important like, causes that? and mm -hmm. some great uh, executive yeah. directors mm -hmm. uh, have agreed to let us represent their brands and we're just trying to do it justice. Fantastic. Oh, it's great. It's turning, you know, something like gambling, which sometimes has a negative connotation, into something yeah. good, right? Sure. So can people get, I imagine it's quite addictive. How, how much is the minimum bet? Like how much can you play? The minimum bet is one dollar, so oh, we have wow. denominations of one, five. Well, there you 10, go. I'm in. Right now, I'm in. So. <laughs> no, that's don't, right. don't. Yeah. no, that's fabulous. So, um, also, can you build a profile? Because I know people, you know, that love to give back, love to kind of show sometimes how yeah. much they're giving back. Is there like a reward mechanism, yeah. or how does that work? So, there, so now you're really kind of getting into mm. the non-standard business model of this, which right. is micro impressions. So, mm -hmm. um, it is people like to humble brag. People like to aggregate the value right. of what they're actually doing doing for good of course. Um, and so we have social sharing within the application mm -hmm. so when you make mm -hmm. a bet you can we say talk smack but you can also yeah. uh, remind people like if you push after we make a bet you push a button it'll tweet it out but it'll also tag nice. the charity nice. it'll tag the people nice yeah. so there's so, a good social outreach yeah, there there's charity awareness in Fantastic. addition to the charitable right. donations Super so, smart. my heart goes out to you like you're doing something amazing for the Thank greater you. good like yeah. seriously there's so many startups out there that are just about profiteering profiteering and this is like profiteering but for something good That's so right. thank, you thank you so you much. much i really lovely it's to meet you to guys meet you. Culture city is probably we're here in collision because we are kind of considered the world's first startup nonprofit. okay and it was started about two years ago with the idea of fundamentally helping uh individuals with autism really yeah. reach their full potential mm -hmm. and we've grown really quickly because we help businesses and startups grow through social good right yeah. that's, that's amazing yeah. and you know autism I don't know a lot about it myself but I know of the effects you know millions of people and you know, unfortunately sorry but start, startups like yourself are really educating and showing other ways you can enhance their lives and tell me a little bit more about how you're doing that yeah so we have several different initiatives mm -hmm. our biggest one which has the most impact mm -hmm. is something called Lifebox. right so i don't know if you know this but you know when you look at the leading cause of death mm -hmm. of kids with autism under yeah. the age of eight is actually drowning oh wow so about five months ago our families came to us and said can you create something that potentially can prevent my kid from wandering away and drowning because right. kids of autism tend to wander. Yeah. So we came up with this thing called Lightbox. It's a low box, but it contains a GPS tracking bracelet. Oh. It contains a shoe tag. It contains... I've... Yeah, same boxes. This, is, this right. is really interesting because yeah. I've thought about this once. I had this this light bulb moment uh, right. or ethical moment as well. It's like if you had the choice when you had a kid, yeah. uh, if you could get the microchip, yeah. <laughs> would you? Would you? You know, because the whole, Correct. you know, wandering off. and the, exactly. So you've kind of got, you're not quite yeah. so severe as that. But yeah, right. this is interesting. So exactly. tell us more. Yeah. So the amazing thing is that, so we started shipping it out about uh, four months ago. We right. shipped out about 700. Right. And this is the, the, the the awesome thing is that we've saved 33 lives. So 33 drownings have been prevented wow. because of this box. So what does it yeah. do exactly when so, they, yeah. Exactly, so it sets a kind of a distance. Mm -hmm. So the child will wear the bracelet and then you want to set it about 20 feet. The minute the child breaks, breaks that barrier, right. it sounds an alarm. And at that point the parents alert it and that prevents them from wandering away and drowning. Okay, so tell me what got you into Culture City? Like did you wake up one day and you're yeah. like, has autism affected your life? Or yes. have you seen something like, what's yeah? Yeah, so I'm an emergency medicine doctor by mm -hmm. trade. And about four years ago, my oldest son, now eight was diagnosed with autism okay. 
Okay. And when even though we were within the medical community, we mm. found that there was very limited resources right. to help families engage, you know, yeah. and really help them with their tangible needs. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of the aha moment and said, let's do mm. something okay. that on a national level that really can affect change yes. and create better futures for these kids. Absolute pleasure to oh, meet you. you. It's so, so good to meet companies that are like giving back and doing good and oh. changing the health and lifestyle of people for the thank positive. You. So absolute pleasure, Julian. I, I know I'm the last interview of the day, so lucky last. No, it was great, thank you. <laughs> have, have a great trip back to, where is home? Uh, actually, Birmingham, Alabama, that's where oh, I'm heading next. Alabama, yeah. I yeah. like it. I've never been, but it is on we my list. You need to come out, so yeah. I, I'm gonna come out. Yeah. Uh, actually, there's, um, there's a hangout fest, it's like yeah, a- Yeah, that's right, it's in yeah. Gulf Shores, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking of doing Good. that. Good, you so should definitely I may do that. get there sooner than you think.